This video is brought to you by Prompt Valley Air Conditioning and Heating. 775-727-7488 Kyle Bickerstaff was killed in June of 2020 when he and Nicholas Von Alst allegedly set out to rob Culbertson of a gun they said they would buy from him. When the trio met up, Von Alst and Bickerstaff allegedly pistol whipped Culbertson and a gun battle occurred that resulted in Bickerstaff being shot by Culbertson and then succumbing to his injuries. Von Alst is awaiting Judge Lane's decision on if he will be charged with first degree murder under the felony murder charge because Bickerstaff died during the commission of a felony. The family of Kyle Bickerstaff was in the courtroom seeking to provide victim impact statements and seek restitution for his death. Culbertson has not been charged in the death of Kyle Bickerstaff as it was ruled justifiable. The defense argued that Bickerstaff was not the victim in this crime and because of that his family should not be allowed to provide victim statements to the court. The person that the state is trying to make out to be a victim in this case is Kyle Bickerstaff. Kyle Bickerstaff conspired with Nicholas Von Alst to lure Mr. Culbertson away from the house party, to beat him, to rob him. And Mr. Culbertson fell prey to that, but then defended himself, ultimately shooting and killing Kyle Bickerstaff. Mr. Culbertson is not charged with murder because it was justified, because he exercised his constitutional and God-given right to defend himself. Mr. Bickerstaff, under the statute, is not a person against whom a crime has been committed. Especially not the two crimes that Mr. Culbertson has pled guilty to. In their opposition, the state concedes that no restitution should be ordered. If there was a victim in the case, restitution should be ordered. Because there is no restitution to be ordered, that point also goes to concede that Mr. Bickerstaff was not a victim. Therefore, if he is not a victim, his mother cannot speak today. And that's what I'm asking the court for an order, that Mr. Bickerstaff's mother cannot speak and that no restitution should be ordered. The state took the position that Culbertson cleaned up the crime scene, making it difficult to fully investigate the incident. The state maintained that Bickerstaff's mother will never get the full answers of what had occurred because Culbertson had destroyed the evidence, and so because of that, she is a victim and should be allowed to testify. And it pains me to say so, but I'm going to have to agree with Mr. Martinez. Your opportunity to vent about the death of your son and how it affected you and so forth will be at the Von Alst here. For the purposes of Culberson committing a crime by collecting up the shell casings and hiding the gun, I agree that it may that may also have affected you besides the shooting, but the hiding of the gun and collecting up would have affected you emotionally. So the um, motion to allow the victims, the deceased victim's family to testify was denied. Judge Lane went on to sentence Culbertson for the guilty plea entered for destroying or concealing evidence. Culbertson received two years in jail with credit for time served and all standard fines and fees. The family of Kyle Bickerstaff will be allowed to offer testimony at the trial of Nicholas Von Alst.